Vietnamese is a really interesting language in that it's monosyllabic. So every word is just one syllable. Um, some harder to express ideas are multiple one syllables put together. And sometimes those syllables can switch places. Um, for example, the word for cabbage can be bap gai or gai bap. They're the same thing. Vietnamese uses a system of classifiers which are used in certain situations just to like add on in front of a noun. So like a guy, guy, like a thing, you would say guy gay is like a chair, like chair, chair. In Vietnamese, just about respect and talking to other people, you always have to change how you address yourself. Um, there isn't really a word for I, it's whatever your relationship is, it's a system of titles. So when I'm talking to my little sister, I might be an, but when I'm talking to my friend, I might be tri. When I'm talking to my mom, I'd be gong. When I'm talking to my grandparents, I'd be chao. When I'm giving a talk in sacrament meeting, I uh, might use m or as a missionary, I would sometimes use enka. Enka is the word for elder. It was also a way of addressing yourself or another missionary. Um, and the same goes when you're saying you. Uh, you could say bang, which is like friend. If you're on the same level as them, like if you're the same age and you're both friendly. But there's also a lot of different things you could say. Vietnamese is a tonal language, much like Chinese. Um, you might know that Mandarin has four tones, and Vietnamese has six. And one way that Vietnamese has become more accessible to Americans to learn is that they have Romanized their alphabet. So um, once you learn the alphabet, you can pretty much read any word, as opposed to Chinese, where you have to learn thousands of symbols. The Vietnamese tones have all been assigned names. There's yo sắc, yo huyền, yo hỏi, yo ngã, yo nang, and then a level tone, không. And these are really important when you're speaking Vietnamese, uh, because if you use the wrong tone, then you'll be saying a different word or you'll be saying a word that doesn't exist and it'll just sound like noise to Vietnamese people.